So let me preface this first by saying this is not meant to be a bash session and that I am a fan of Ash by Elegance. I was a fan of Dana Brooke. So I'm going to throw that out there first and foremost. If you see the title of this graphic here, <laughs> it's an obvious play on words of Aaron Rex, who was once upon a time Aaron Stevens, Damian Sandow, when he was a part of TNA for about two months. I think he was only there maybe two months, but they taped so much television at the time that it, it was probably maybe two, three months. It was a good like half year maybe on television. He, he really wasn't there very long. And the circumstances surrounding each of these coming in are, are different. Um, the hype behind both are different. So it's not a um, it's not a one to one comparison, but the one comparison that I want to make here is that these were two talents that came into TNA, uh, basically saying, "Hey, things are going to be different now." The handcuffs were on me over here. The handcuffs are off me now, and you're going to see what I can do. And you saw with Aaron Rex once upon a time. You know, for about an episode or two of TNA, they were pushing him hard. Well, they pushed him hard for a little while, but I mean, the fans were into it. He cut the big promo, and it fizzled out faster than anything I've ever seen as a wrestling fan. As far as just going from 100 to zero, completely fizzled out because they tried to put him in a spot that he wasn't ready for. They didn't have a plan for him. And they rushed it. Now, the difference is they're not rushing Ash by Elegance. Because this company, usually you bring in someone of this, uh, of a name like this, and they're wrestling for the title immediately. Sometimes they're winning the title immediately. They, you know, they, they went against their best instincts, and they have gone the slow burn route with this. The problem is, Jordan Grace is red hot right now. The slow burn, if you don't know what I'm talking about, is her challenging for the knockouts championship. Jordan Grace is red hot right now. Ash by Elegance is ice cold. No pun intended because George the Iceman is saving this gimmick right now. And there's a couple of reasons this is just isn't working. Number one, the matches haven't been good. She did an interview with somebody, I don't remember who it was, and she said, you're going to see what I can do. And you're going to see how it's different this time. And the interviewer's like, well, what's going to be different? And she really couldn't answer the question. And it's probably because she has a different finisher. What else she is doing different, I'm not really seeing. The character work is good. But it's over the past several weeks, it is becoming comedy. A little comedy here or there is one thing. Now, George the Iceman, you can tell he's he's funny. He's pulling it off. That being said, though, when she was wrestling Havoc and they were doing the garlic and the holy water and all that, that's where um, I think it started to fall off a cliff. Now, it was already kind of on the down on the downhill. But I think that was the moment where it's like, this isn't working. And with, uh, as I said, Jordan's hot right now. And I think they expected both wrestlers to be hot. I think they expected the fans to really be asking for this match by the time Slammiversary rolled around. And they're not. They're flat out not. And the crazy thing is we know we're going to get it. But I do commend the slow the slow build because I'm asking for that all the time. We get title matches, you know, they the week to week, little tiny angle title match the next week. Hell, we've got it with the knockouts tag team division. This is the slowest burn they've got going in the company right now, but every time the character wrestles or appears on TV, it's going down 
it's kind of like the Mercedes Monet character on AEW. Every time she shows up on screen, people have less interest. Now, I don't think the Ash stuff is that level of bad because I've seen all the Mercedes stuff. It's it's like a train wreck you can't look away from. You look up the promos, you look up the segments, they're awful. I would not say anything that Ash is doing is awful. Uh, from a character standpoint, is, is, is there some bad comedy? Yes. Is it awful? I guess that's up for interpretation. But we're just we're not seeing anything in the ring right now, unfortunately, that is making us as fans say, yo, we want this match. So here's the here's the interesting part of this. Here's the question. This is this is what they did with Aaron Rex at one point. They pulled the plug. They tried to go a certain direction, thought they were gonna have a big star on their hands. It went from serious to bad comedy very quickly and the fans were not into it and it was over it was done it was gone he was gone before we even knew it before we had an opportunity to blink they pulled the plug on the experiment now the only difference is i I don't think he was signed for i don't think he ever signed there actually i think it's you know everyone's favorite per appearance uh short-term contract type of thing i think ash is actually Sign for a bit. We, I don't know that for sure. I have no idea. But this is the first time since the Aaron Rex debacle that I'm I'm sitting here, and I hope that they don't. Like I hope that they figure this out. That they might pull the plug on this whole thing because it's it's really not working. And what did I say when she signed with the company? When she joined? When she was getting ready to debut? Because the knockouts were in such a bad position, I said, this Ash by Elegance character has to be a home run. And it hasn't been. It's been standing in the batter's box, bottom of the ninth, high score, you're up in the count, 3-0, and strikeout. For another ball reference, they're lobbing her softballs, and it's she's, she's not hitting them out of the infield. So let's hope that, you know, for for those of you, and I, I put myself in that category, that, that hope that this can catch on, that this can work, because I still think there's a high probability she's winning this title. But that we, we might be experiencing one of the first wrestlers in a while that just came in with saying, hey, things are going to be different. I'm going to do this and this. They held me back over here. I should have been... Uh, you know, this spot of the card, achieving this, this, and this. And then they came over here with the promise that they're going to deliver, and it fizzles out. The plug might get pulled on this. I don't know. We're going to see. Stay tuned.